Sometimes Forex trading is a wild and woolly place to be. That's why Hugh's here. To pose your questions to Walter, the naked Forex guy. Hugh's got questions, and Walter's got the answers. Here at the Truth About FX Podcast. Hey, Walter, I know this is a pretty... uh, I know people geek out about this question, so um, I was just wondering... How many monitors should trading monitors should I have, and how big should they be? <laughs> this reminds me of the question, which was I think it was a, they, someone asked Abraham Lincoln. They said, uh, you know, how how long should a man's legs be? And he said, long enough to reach the ground. <laughs> and that's kind of that's kind of <laughs> what this reminds me of. Like, you know, how, um, <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, this is this is a it's a personal thing. It's like you know, what kind of woman should I marry or whatever? I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I, I, I would say it's kind of like when you meet your friends and, you, you know, I like this guy and I want to hang out with him or I like this this girl and she, you know. So, look, here's the thing. If, if you can't trade on one screen, then maybe you need two. And if two doesn't work, then maybe you need three. I mean, I, I don't really know what to say. I would say that there are more important issues than the number of screens one is if if you've got a lot of screens and you feel like you need a lot of screens the hint that I'm getting there is that you're probably trading the lower time frames you're looking at you're making snap decisions you need a lot of stuff you know in front of you and if that's the case mm-hmm. you're probably going to be like the real focus should be on you know what that does to you like neurologically and and what's happening to your brain when you start trading these lower time frames that's the real issue here and and I would I would urge you to look up the nucleus accumbens like google nucleus accumbens I'll, I'll I'll give a link down here to a couple of studies and and resources in the show notes for this podcast but basically your nucleus accumbens lights up when you start doing these lower time frames, and that's the same area of your brain that lights up when you when you do a line of cocaine. Okay, so it's a very addictive <laughs> thing. I mean, and so if you feel like you need to have seven screens or whatever, you're you're playing with fire basically. I'm not saying you can't do it. There are plenty of guys out there that can scalp and all that. They're usually very very disciplined though. They're usually like military type guys, you know. So, you know, this is the kind of thing that you need to be aware of. So, I would say it's it's probably if you're if you're feeling like you need more screens, you're probably trading the lower time frames. It's probably a symptom of a bigger issue, which is you know don't blame your losing trades on the fact that you you didn't have an extra screen and you couldn't see that five minute chart or whatever. <laughs> you know it's more it's something yeah. bigger than that. But the other thing I would just as an as an aside, one thing that you might find useful if you if you're spending a lot of screen time, like if you're a scalper and you're sitting in front of the computer for five hours a day and you've got like a, a side job or something, that's a lot of screen time potentially if you you know if you have a regular you know white collar desk job. So one thing that one tip that I would say is you can use these glasses to cut down on the I'm actually wearing them right now and they're they're called they're called gunner and they're they're like video gaming glasses. I don't know if you've seen them but that can kind of cut down on the radiation you that's something that will help you over the long haul, if you're gonna, if you have all these screens that are basically like blasting you every day, you know, you can probably pick up a <laughs> pair of these glasses, and and I'll put those on the show notes too. So that's something that you might want to look at too, if you're, you know, if you're in front of a lot of screens. So yes, yeah, so I'm sorry that I can't yeah, give yeah. a better answer, and that's probably what people are looking for. But yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's 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 a great answer. I just have two. I have I have a I have a 32 inch and a uh, small laptop screen, and that's about it. Yeah. I got the same same deal, so um, I can I can certainly trade off the laptop, but um, but usually if I'm sitting down, I'll plug it into a monitor. Yeah, so I've got a monitor and a laptop. So yeah, so it's it's no big deal. Cool, good to know. All right, thanks, Walter. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Yeah, see you next time. <laughs>